Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstrates about setting up a personal area network using Ubuntu server and Ubuntu desktop. First the server is given the static IP address. On the desktop the host file is configured so the desktop is able to find the server by name. The way this is going to be set up is I've got a desktop right here that gets this address from a personal router it finds DHCP dynamic host control protocol and it will issue to the desktop and you can have more than one desktop a IP address between 192.168.12 100 to 199 also on this network is going to be and a server basically it's going to be a Moodle, Moodle server later on but it isn't right now it's going to be given a static address 192.168.12 200 now you notice that all these are on the local LAN with a 192.168.12.0 network. And outside your router, you've got to have firewall or something on the other side of the firewall. You've got a LAN, WAN, or possibly the internet. So the outcomes for this are you're going to set a static IP address in Ubuntu 12 server. I'm using Ubuntu 12.10, but you can also do this with Ubuntu 12. Such a fully qualified domain name on Ubuntu 12 server and then modify the host file on Ubuntu 12 desktop so that desktop can find the server by name instead of an IP address. Requirements are installed LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Ubuntu 12 server, an additional desktop computer, hardware or virtual, Ubuntu 12.10 desktop is shown, and both above computers are on the same LAN, local area network, and a router and a, or DHCP server. Uh, here's you've got some additional places you can go to they provide a little more detail than you can get from a video and of course I've got to add a disclaimer the information given here is for setting up a server static IP and allowing desktops on your LAN to connect to your server if computers on your LAN are not secure or if your LAN is exposed to the internet you may have additional security issues the internet is too wild a place for a video to cover all the security issues if you're using VirtualBox to set up your private network, you have to make sure that both of the machines are using a bridge adapter. Here I have two Ubuntu machines, one a desktop, DT, Desktop Ubuntu, Quantum Quetzal 01, and Moodle Ubuntu, QQ01, which is the server, and I need to make sure that when I go to the network setting of, in this case, a desktop, that bridge adapter is selected. And click OK here it is and this one here Mubuntu and again here I need to make sure that bridge adapter is selected this is so that machines can see each other and they should also be on the same LAN or local area network here I have both an Ubuntu server and Ubuntu desktop running in this case they're both virtual machines and they're on the same LAN now if I want to set static IP on the server first thing I want to do is check my IF config. In this case I notice that it's uh, set at 192.168.12.103. Now this was set from a DHCP from a router and it will set uh, an address anywhere from 100 to 199. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go to ETC network directory do an ls and the file I need to modify is the interfaces file so before I do that I'm going to back it up sudo cp copy interfaces to enter faces dot bck backup do an ls and there's the backup file so I'm going to use the Vim text editor. And then I'm going to uh, set a static IP. I simply go down to where it says iFace E0 iNet DHCP. And then I hit I for insert. Vim requires that. And I'm going to change it DHCP to static. I'm just going to put a tab, but you don't have to. I'll put another tab here. 
six eight net mask two five five point two five five point two five five point zero and basically what this does it separates the uh, host part from the uh, network part and so the network part will only be uh, one will be the nine one nine two one six eight twelve and the host part will be the two hundred network if you see the network is going to be one six eight point twelve point zero so anything with on the one nine two point one six eight point twelve LAN uh, with the net mask that's above it will uh, be on the same LAN and broadcast I'm simply going to use two five five point two five five point two five five point two five five point two five five you can also use 192.168.12.255, but I use this because uh, basically this is the zero network default. Most routers will just simply uh, not pass this through. Well, actually, all no router is really supposed to pass this through. And then the gateway is where your router, or spell that correctly, or DHCP server is uh, in this case router and DHCP server is located because the router is a DHCP or dynamic host control protocol server that will give a, an IP address to DHCP clients and that's 192.168.0.255 this is non-standard uh, if you just get a router and then you just hook it up at home it will normally, this, the default is 192.168.1.1. Once I have these, if I need a domain name server or DNS server, I would put it down below this. If there was a domain name server previously, uh, you can leave it in there. I'm just going to uh, do a, this is a very small network, so I'm not going to use a domain name server. I'm going to put the domain name in the desktop. That's set, so I'm going to hit escape and then colon and then right quit for Vim. So if I want to check myself I would use cat interfaces. So that's all written. Now I'm also going to add a fully qualified domain name for this server and to do that I have to go to the host file cd etc do an ls and you'll see there the host file is located there and again I'm going to back it up cp in case there's a mistake I make uh, I can always recover it. hosts to host dot backup now I should have used sudo forgot that Now that'll work, and now if I do an ls, you'll see it's there. So I'm going to use the Vim text editor. And we're going to make a change, and we're going to simply give it a fully qualified domain name right here. Again, key in I to insert, and then make sure you get everything spelled correctly. In this case this is going to be a Moodle server so I gave it the name Mubuntu QQ01 and for the fully qualified domain name I'm going to use uh, edu educational private. You can use whatever you wish as long as there's no other machine with the exact same FQDN on your network make sure that everything is uh, spelled correctly then hit escape colon again WQ for right quit and if you want to check yourself you can do a cat hosts there it is now I'm going to re reboot this rather than if up and uh, then rather than uh, restart the networking I'm just going to do a 
reboot. Once it's rebooted, uh, do an IF config and make sure that the networking is set up correctly. Log in. IF config. You see it's got uh, an internet IP address of 192.168.12.200. Once we set the static IP on the Ubuntu server, we can go over and uh, verify that it's working by going to the desktop. Do that, simply open up a Firefox web browser. If you recall that the server is an Apache server, so it should be able to show us a web page. In this case, we simply type in the address 168.12.200 and you'll notice that it says it works. But if we type in the computer name, because there's no name server the main name server on this page, you'll notice that we're directed to a search page. In order to fix this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to modify the host file and actually put in uh, the domain name, uh, the fully qualified domain name or, or the server name in here. So we're going to go to CD ETC directory one thing, you can use a nano text editor, but I like to use a Vim text editor. So before I get started, I'm going to install the uh, Vim text editor to sudo apt get install Vim. And that will install Vim. Now, because this has been installed, before on this machine then I took it back off to show you how to do it. You don't get the question asking for the why or yes. Normally you'll ask get a question asking you to type in a why. So once I have that let's go make a backup copy. Hosts to hosts backup and we'll do an LS and let's go check and see should be here and there it is here is the host and here's the backup so now let's use the Vim text editor to edit the host file open it up go to about down here type in I for insert and now we're going to type in the address of the server static IP address and we're going to make sure you get this typed in correctly edu dot private and then if you want to access it. Make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Once you've done that, hit escape, colon, WQ for write quit. And if you want to check yourself, you can always do a cat on the host file. There it is. Now let's, we're going to have to reboot this. Uh, although you can uh, uh, get away without rebooting the server, for this desktop uh, I've had it crash on the re if I don't reboot it, if I just re restart the networking. That's on 12.10, Ubuntu 12.10. has a tendency to crash if you just restart networking. Now that's restarted, let's start the Firefox web browser again. Type in the address, IP address. You notice that it works. And this time we're going to type in the name. Again, you'll notice that it works. And if I want to use the whole the FQDN uh, 
again it works. If you think this is just a, if I change it one letter here you'll notice that should say server not found. So that's how you set up your own little private network. Uh, in this case this was done using uh, two virtual machines on VirtualBox. Basically you had to have enough memory to run both your host machine and two guest machines. Or you can actually have different computers doing this as long as they're all on the same LAN. Thank you.